Smart Shapes are an easy way to create customizable shapes for your document. There are simple smart shapes, such as rectangles, ellipses, polygons, stars and arrows, as well as more complex text panels, photo text panels, speech bubbles, charts, timelines and many others. What makes using them so easy are the editing functions built into the shape. They have a set of control handles that can be dragged to adjust and customise the object. There's no need to select any special tools. I'll show you the arrow smart shapes. To add an arrow to my page, I select the plus icon, then select arrows. As there are many different designs of arrows, they are in a category of their own. There are two styles of arrows. The first six arrows have limited customization, and the rest are fully configurable arrows, whereby you can change the arrow head or tail design. I'll select this simple arrow. When arrows are imported, they take on the theme colour of the document, but it's easy to change the colour of any simple smart shape using the colour editing feature here. Using this edit handle, I can drag the head into the exact position that I want, and likewise with the tail. This handle on the base of the arrow head will define the width of the arrow, i.e. the size of both ends and the line thickness. With this central handle, I can adjust the curvature of the arrow. Notice that whilst dragging the central handle, it will snap to be exactly straight when I get near to the straight, making it very easy to create straight line arrows. All smart shapes are not only customizable, but they are vector graphics, which means I can zoom in or enlarge them to be any size, and they are always pin sharp with no pixelation. I'll now add a more configurable arrow to my page. On this arrow, see there are two additional blue edit handles that enable me to change the style of the arrow head and tail. As I drag this blue handle, it cycles through all the options for the style of head. I can also change the tail. Notice that the tail now has an additional green handle, so I can change the size of the tail independently of the width of the arrow and head. You've seen how easy it is to use the smart shapes, so give it a go and have fun experimenting with them. See the other videos to learn more about smart shapes